Diplomatic ambassador to CERN, you know, the place in Switzerland that is studying the origin of life. And he's only nine years old. Please welcome to our Windy City Live Science Lab, Romanio Galpin Jr. Hi, Hi Romanio. Hello. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, what is a global scientific ambassador do? It, uh, uh, a global science and uh, a global scientific ambassador um, would spread the knowledge about what he's, he or she is an ambassador to. Okay. okay. And That's you're an ambassador to CERN. Yes. So what does that mean? So that means I spread knowledge about CERN okay. to other people All right. around now, the world. Some people are calling you the next Einstein. What does that feel like? It's, 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 um, I mean, I've, <laughs> I've had that title for a long time now. It's very interesting. <laughs> well, they call me that because of my advanced study of organic chemistry and particle physics. Oh, and yeah. said, are you doing this at, let's see, nine, you're in fourth grade? No, 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 I'm homeschooled. Oh, you're homeschooled. Homeschooled. Oh, that's yeah. why you're yeah. so smart, huh? Yes. Yes, yeah. and I, I understand you got to meet one of your heroes recently on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Who'd you uh, get to meet? Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I didn't know about him back then, but... Yeah, but yeah. You, this is one of your favorite videos, I hear. You and oh, The Rock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it, it never gets old. Yeah, is he as big as you thought he was going to be? <laughs> I didn't know much about him, as I said. <laughs> so when he walked out, you were like, who is this guy? Yeah, I, did, I didn't know how famous he was back then. Really? Oh, okay. But now you know how famous yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. What do you think about it now? I, it was like very special. Very, very special. special. So how long have you loved science? You're nine years old. So what? You said a lot of years, but what, Since eight? the beginning. Since nine years ago? <laughs> Since nine years ago. Since, Since you came out. Time. So, oh, yeah. Do you, remember, right. do you remember being born? No, okay. I, I don't think anybody does. <laughs> oh, I just, uh, if there was anybody, it would be you. All right, you got a couple of experiments for us? Yes. All right, what are you going to show us first? So, today I'm doing counterintuitive experiments, basically. So, spell it, Ryan. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, well, you've heard of the experiment. I'm sure most of you in the audience have heard of the experiment where you take sodium bicarbonate and vinegar and you put it in a volcano model. Today we have a volcano model, but we're doing it. Okay, okay. sounds so, so good. Yes, I did this red, in grade school. You color it red and there's like lava spills all over the place and everything. It's supposed to be like a nice volcano. But today we're going to do it and we'll see. We'll, we'll, I'll point out something to you. Okay. okay. All right, okay. you show us. So let's do it. So we see, I see you already have the vinegar report, uh, pre poured for me. All okay. right, so we're going to take this sodium bicarbonate. Okay. Okay, I also just thought that was baking soda. Right. It, yeah, sodium bicarbonate is a scientific name for baking soda. All right. Got it. I didn't well, know that. A lot of it is going smoke in my face, not not into the bowl, but. All right. Yeah. Might as well sodium, one more. sodium bicarbonate? Yeah, so it's sodium and. Two carbonates. The well, carbonate is CO3. Yeah, right. so yeah, yeah. The elements. Of course. I knew yeah, that. Yeah, we knew that. I knew yeah. bicarbonate. All right. Yeah, of course you did. I just used some of that when my refrigerator was stinking the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to make a volcano shape. We don't have a volcano model. Okay. okay. But let's see something. If I pour this vinegar in here. Do wait. we need to step back? No, we got a tray here, but this is going to be one of the biggest ones I've ever done in my entire life. Okay. Okay. Um, except it when it's in the bathtub. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now why does it react like that? A sodium bicarbonate, I believe the vinegar steals some oxygen from sodium bicarbonate. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, anyway, feel it. Oh, it's cold. It's yeah. very cold. So it's when, not hot. And when everyone keeps saying, I'm going to put this in a volcano, it's going to be a volcano model, it's it's not hot. It's actually an endothermic reaction, meaning it's cold. Hmm. So so when you do this with your children, don't don't give them mixed messages like, this is a volcano. It's going to be hot when you touch it. Be careful with your hands. They're going to be boiling. Right. <laughs> when you do this with your children, you tell them the truth, right? Well, I, I don't do that. I don't have children. Oh, you don't have children. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you do have a little brother. How old is your little brother? Oh, uh, he's at one and a half. Okay, have you done this with him? Have you already started teaching him no, science? No, no, no. Why not? We, we teach him science, but we don't do things like this with him because we're putting his mouth. You know what? You know, you know, like, you don't want him to drink a sodium bicarbonate vinegar smoothie or anything like that. Uh, right. I'm put this in my mouth. <laughs> right. All right, we got our, we got a second one. Look at your looking at you. Yeah, we, we got a second one. All right, I'm going to help you with this one, all right? All right, yeah. Okay, Wait, so do you need a napkin? Uh, napkin, you, please. You tell me what to do, buddy. All right, so. Thank you, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. So, this one is, so in the audience, raise your hand if you don't like bursting balloons. If you don't like what? If you don't like bursting balloons. Oh, oh bursting, bursting balloons. balloons. You don't like the sound of them popping? Okay. So for, for you in the back, um, for you in the back, this will, this will involve balloons bursting, or it might, okay. because 
this experiment, I'm gonna do something to one of these balloons. It's gonna make them look like they're about to burst. And it won't, but it will eventually. Okay. So, okay. All right, so this right, is gonna just gonna this? prolong the yeah. inevitable burst. Now this, yes. is this water? Yeah, that's water. So just give it a water. water, okay. And Fill it up stop. To, right there? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take it off of there. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. A little bit of extra water. <laughs> Okay, now you're gonna blow it up. Wow, you got a strong set of lungs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's good. Now can somebody tie, tie it? it? Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at that. Now, right, please don't pop it because it. This, we have a few spare, but just gonna uh, right. elongate the show. Here we go. Okay. Elongate, the, elongate, the, show. elongate the show. Okay, uh, the, gonna... Elongate is a fancy word for making it longer. Then you wanna? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to die. I'm gonna. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. So. Does anyone have a tea light anywhere? A tea how about, light? How about this? We got the lighter. We could use that. Is that okay? Yeah. Do you prefer okay. Ryan use it? Oh yeah, yeah. You, no. you use it. So I'm turn it light. on. I'm turn it on. No, 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 okay. Go. Wait, 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 wait. What are we doing here? So we're gonna put it to the balloon. And, and then, then what's gonna happen? To the, to the bottom. It? To the bottom. Touch now, it. Yeah, touch it. It might pop, but I don't know. Just touch it. <laughs> oh, it didn't pop. The water is acting as a heat, a heat conductor. So it's boiling the water, but it's just charring the balloon. It's not popping. Wow. Really? So until the water until evaporates. The wa <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you said it would pop. There you go. Thank you so much, buddy. All right. From, from audio. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, wait. We still have yeah, time. We got a couple time. minutes here. I, I heard, my producer told me that you ultimately, in life, want to create a star. Yes. Okay, wh what do you mean? I mean, I want to create a star, a real star, and put it in the Andromeda galaxy. How does that when work? When I'm 19. How when you're 19, 19, so 10 years from now. Yes, so, I don't know how it works, <laughs> but I will eventually. So I, I'm, I'm gonna try to invent a new physics, a new mathematics, a new chemistry. So you're gonna create new math, new chemistry, new physics, new universe? Possibly, but guess what? What? Einstein's general theory of relativity was laughed at before it was made. And then after it was made, it was like, yeah, kind of, sort of. But then a few years after that, and then when, when a few decades later, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 right. years, and then it's like, I believe you, right. this is a great idea. This revolutionized physics. Right. Right. So it's right. like before that, everyone was like, okay, this is how it works, this is how it works, but I have no idea how it works. And that's why Einstein was like, that's not enough. It's not enough. You, you, you can't just leave me hanging. Yes. Exactly. Did so you... nobody believed him at first, but then after all these years, he's the most brilliant man ever. And yeah. that's going to be you. Yeah, and then they called me the next Einstein because of that. So. Yeah. What did, you think of the, uh, what did you think of the Fermilab that you got to visit in Chicago? Oh, yeah. For, Fermilab, we went there today and the day before that. Yeah, and what did you find there? What did you, what did you explore? So the day before that, we looked at the, the system that power LUNAC. It means linear accelerator. They accelerate protons, turn them into neutrinos. And the, their new experiment that they're going to call DUNE takes neutrinos and sends them all the way from Fermilab to... Um, uh, I, for, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's, it's a facility in western South Dakota. Oh, wow. So you're looking to, you and the family are looking for different places to live. You might actually live here in Chicago. Yeah. Which okay. means you could be a regular on our show. And you yeah. can, like, since you're, like, <laughs> since you're homeschooled, and you can kind of, like, homeschool me and Ryan here on TV. <laughs> right? Wouldn't that help. be cool? We wait, need a lot of help. No, wait, wait. I'm homeschooled, but you could be TV schooled. There you yes! go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, don't, five. I don't like high fives. I like handshakes. Oh, oh. do you? Even though my hand. Even though like... you're all vinegary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> high fives are so childish, Val. Thank you, Romania. <laughs>